Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I am addicted to ideas. The reason I decided to talk about this topic is because I'm going through an episode right now. I have an idea in mind, I want to execute on that, but I should not. Now, if I was supposed to show you and tell you about all the ideas and different things that I have done for the past 10 years, we're going to be here, stuck here for, for, a, for a while. But I'm going to show you one. Couple. Couple was something that I came up with about two years ago. And I basically pretty much dropped everything that I was doing to try that idea. And I pretty much dropped most of, of what I was doing before before that, during those two months, just to focus on that. I had, I had the idea, I jumped to build a logo, I jumped to get a new, a new domain, and I started the website, and I was excited, and the adrenaline rush was really good, and I'm going through, again, I relapse on that right now. So, let's, let's talk a little bit about the symptoms here. You feel the adrenaline rush of a new idea. You, know? you, feel, the, the, you feel the potential of, of that new idea that you had. You, sh you start shifting from one day to the next priorities in your day. You come up with logos. You come up with domain. You love the process of thinking of a new name. You envision users using that. That's all great. But hey, the problem is yesterday you were doing something completely different. Now, one, one side note. If by any chance this idea is an enhancement to what you're doing, nothing wrong with that. I'm talking about an idea that goes on a different route that would take you in a different route as compared to what you were doing yesterday. That's what I'm talking about. Now, let's talk about treatments. Treatments for the addiction here. You have to ask yourself, is the idea aligned to what you were doing yesterday, to what you were focusing? Is it aligned or not? If it's not, hey, that's a big teller. On your current idea, on your current working concept, working model, you know, your so-called career or maybe an app or maybe an application that you are developing, a SaaS product, or whatever it is, have you given it your best? Did, did you give it the time and the care that it needs to make it flourish? If not, you may want to consider giving that your, your full care before you jump to the next shiny thing. Did you give it a fair chance to succeed already? And I would recommend, highly recommend, that you have a friend that you can bounce those things back and forth and they can call you on. They can say, hey man, you are going that path again and again and again. Don't go there. You know how this works out. You know that in a month or so, you, that idea, that, that energy will fade away. Have someone, hopefully, part of your business network, part of your mentorship group, not me, or a peer group, but someone that can understand what you're going through. And maybe you have already discussed about that up front of them and have them as your reality check. That's about treatments. Let's talk, let's talk about prevention here. How do you prevent yourself from going through a rabbit hole like that. I have a few tips for you. Here's what I do right now. I get the idea, I write it down on my Evernote notepad just for ideas. So I have an idea bucket. I walk away from that idea and I let it cool down for about two weeks. And I set a reminder in my calendar that it reminds me to, to go back to that idea in two weeks to verify and see if I'm still excited about that idea, if that idea hasn't fizzled away, it hasn't faded away. So give it two weeks to cool down. After two weeks, I'll give you two options. One is maybe that can become your pet project. I'm a, high, I'm, I'm a huge fan of dedicating about 10 to 20% of your time to tinker, to play around with something else that may or may not be fully related to what you are focusing at that point in time. So your option after two weeks is, do you want to pursue that idea? If yes, then you have to see what is it that I'm dedicating my 10 to 20% of time extra? What is my current pet project? Am I willing to drop my current pet project for this new shiny idea? Yes or no? If yes, great, that's fine. Drop your pet project, bring that new idea, 
take it as your pet project. I can tell you this, ideas are a dime in the dozen. What it's really important is execution. Ideas will come, you'll come across ideas all the time. They are not important. Important is whatever you decide to execute on. My name is Ederson Oliveira and I have been idea free for two days. Thank you very much. That's it for now, guys. Slack peeps, let's keep talking. If you are not ready to go there, comment on the, on the video comments here in YouTube or Facebook. And my question today is, what do you do when you have an idea? How do you go about that? That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.